today we are going to install a phenomenal screen protector on the Pixel 7 Pro. This is my wife's uh, Pixel 7 Pro. She does have the, uh, I don't even know what this color is called, but it's a really, really, really nice looking Pixel. Um, I suggest putting a sticker on there. As you can tell, it's a little... Uh, it's kind of like frosted. I mean, uh, you got that little sparkle design, but this is a sticker. This is not what comes on the stock Pixel 7 Pro. What's underneath here is kind of like a chrome or real shiny gold colored plate surrounding the cameras. Um, they do have these. I don't suggest putting these on. Where are they? I do not suggest putting these glass plates on here. Because, for one thing, it limits uh, what cases you can use. Because, you can see, it's thicker. So, it, it is going to be an issue when you put a case on your device. Uh, where is it? That looks like this. Because underneath it, if you have a case that has a cutout for the camera bar, you'll, you'll be fine. But if you have a case like this that surrounds the cameras, it's going to not fit. So I don't use these. This gives you adequate protection. The sticker from scratches, and yes, believe it or not, even if you do lay it down on, the, uh, on its back, it's raised ever so slightly, just enough to protect your cameras. But don't use these. These are crap. Plus in the past, when you use the flash, now these have cutouts, but... In the past, the flash would not be cut out, and when you use the flash on a picture, it would illuminate and just destroy the whole picture. But let's uh, put this on. What we're doing is, I'm going to put a link for this in the description. You, If you are not satisfied with your screen protector, if you don't have a screen protector, put this on your device. Um, now, what we're doing is, that's from here. Uh... It was, she had been changing cases, and I can't remember what case it was that messed up her screen protector. Let's take a look. You want to get all the fuzz off of here. I'll show you how to do this here in a second. You can't hardly tell this is on the phone. Now, you can hear because I'm showing it to you. But when you're using it, you can't really tell. But there's the uh, bubbles under the screen. Okay. And then here's mine. Greasy. But uh, you can barely tell. But it's so thin when you use it on a normal basis. can't even tell it's on the phone. I mean, it's really, really, really... Uh, awesome screen protectors. So let's do this. Let's see what comes in the pack. You get uh, this, this, this crap. This to lay the phone on, on its back. You get this. I'll show you how to use this. You get a cloth. And now this is, I think this came in a three pack. We used one on mine, one on hers, and then there was a spare one. So you want to change the screen protector, so I said, you know, let me make a, a uh, quick video, because I did a uh, somebody in the comments on my Pixel uh, did ask for a screen protector review and or install, and just never got around to it. So I thought this would be the perfect time. It does give you instructions. I've done this so many times. Um, you can watch mine. Mine. My video will be adequate. Uh, instructions so let's do this let's I'm gonna have to um, it's, it's it's important now remember on the s23 ultra screen protector review I think there's one of them what you want to do with this is you want to install screen protector I'm doing this in here because I can't use the bathroom right now you want to do this in your bathroom. You're going to want to run the shower all the way hot. On hot water on your shower. 
you're going to want to do this on your bathroom sink. Obviously, wipe it down, spray your, your, your counter, wipe it down, get all the dust away. Run this hot shower for like five minutes until you get a ton of steam in there. And then turn your shower off. And then proceed to install the screen protector. The steam weighs down all of this lint, all of this dust floating in the air. It weighs it down. So when you're doing it right before you put it on, you're not going to get a piece of lint in between your uh, screen protector and your screen. So let's do this. Here's how this works. It's going to be hard because I'm kind of... Okay, we'll put this here, we'll put this here, let's get any alcohol, what we're going to do is we're going to peel this off, clean the screen, you see you can already tell there's already fuzz and stuff on here, uh, we're going to clean the screen, and then we're going to plug this in your USB Type-C. Just like that. And then basically, you see those three holes in the bottom here? I'm gonna line those up in here. And what it does is line it lines it up. And you're basically just gonna lay it on there, line it up, line this slot with the front camera, lay it on there like such, push down on the uh adhesive start, and then we're gonna raise this, push it through. Take this off, raise this side, push it through. So, let's do it real quick. I'll try to make this fast. I know the last one went a little too long, but... You know, this channel is dedicated to technology. However, we uh, have pixels here in this family and a Samsung Galaxy. So, what's gonna, you're going to get a lot of... Samsung S23 Ultra, Samsung content, and Google and Pixel content here. Got the alcohol wipes ready. And it is imperative to keep your device nice and clean when you're doing this because all it takes is one little piece of lint. And your whole installation is screwed. Those are important. I'll show you how to use those. Just getting everything ready so when I need it, I'll have it. I don't have to go looking through stuff. I'm peeling the uh, alcohol wipes out, getting those ready. Because last thing, again, one little piece of lint screws it up. So when you, once you start, you're going to want to have everything ready to go. Okay. And we got some microfiber cloth. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and take this one off. Let me move this light. There we go. Okay. Let's see, where is the corner? And it feels like glass. That's the that's the if I was not a fan of the plasticky screen protector feel, right? Um, now it should be clean already because there should be no smudges or anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. Okay. Yeah, if you're not a fan of these. Screen protectors, if you like the glass feeling, you're going to like these. It took us a long time to really find screen protectors that we like. I hate the plastic feel. I love the glass feel of a nice flagship display. And with these screen protectors, I honestly, it feels like glass. Even though it's really not. It's so super thin. It does protect it from scratches. It is self-healing. So if you do get a little uh, little minor scratch from keys or something in your pocket, 
it'll in 24 hours it will uh, self heal uh, if you have a minor bubble or two when you do the installation the bubbles will go away now if it's if it's air bubble if it's a lint it's not gonna go away okay now let's take this get all the oil you want zero oil smudges and or lint dirt anything on your screen again I normally do this in the bathroom so I've been lucky in the past let's hope this turns out good but here's the key when you have you're gonna want these I'll show you how to use it. Oh, and wash your hands with soap and water before you do it. So you take this. You don't want to touch it. And this will get up all the fine pieces of lint dust that you can't see. This gets it up for you. Always do it, even if you don't see any lint or dust. Trust me, go ahead and do it. Okay. I'll keep that right here, just in case. I'm sure I'm going to have to do it again. Here in a second. Let's plug this in. Just like that. Inspect the screen again for any lint. I don't see any. I think we're good. Let me do this one more. I think I see. I know some of y'all are probably going to say uh, I'm OCD, but when it comes to this stuff, I am. Because if you don't do it right, you're going to regret it, and you're going to have to do it over at some point. So you want to be kind of anal about this kind of stuff. Oh, there's a big lint. I saw that. Okay. Let's hope for the best. This is the only one I got, too. So. Alright. Now what I'm doing in the background is blowing on my fingertips because lint will fall on your hands and fingertips and uh, now it has some instructions on here but I'll show you how to do it and it's weird because the the very best screen protectors seem like to be seem like the very cheapest brands like they're the real like knockoff names but again we've tried them all I can promise you this is the best one for the pixel 7 pro I promise you you're going to want to set it down here, just like that. Make sure it's on there. And then you're going to want to line the top right here to the front camera. Push down the middle. Got a little adhesive right there just to keep it lined up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. What you're going to do is you're going to raise this. Oh, Jesus. See? Piece of lint. Two pieces, actually. saw it I think that was from the screen protector because it was in our closet for what six five months and it just accumulated some dust inside the little casing it was in. Now I gotta be 
do this. Push down in here. Okay. Let's try it again. So we'll lift this up. Looks good. No lint. Okay. Off centered a little bit. Damn it. But there's nothing I can do. Shit. Well, I'm gonna have to order some more, but I mean it's slightly to the left. But uh, I'll order some more here in a minute and maybe do another video, but oh well. And then what we're going to do, once you pop, peel that off, you're going to pop up this section because you need to take out the, you need to take this out. Oops. Okay. Now once that is out. Yep. Damn it, there's a ton of slit. See, that's why next time I'm going to record in the bathroom and I'll show you exactly what I do. Because this is, this video is taking to, normally it doesn't take this long. Normally it literally only takes just a few minutes. And I'm going on, on what, 17 minutes on this video? So, I'm going to order some more and redo another one and show you all the real installation as far as what I do. With the shower, the steam, and everything, but... Do it like that. Nice. Okay. And then what you're going to do. Now you still have this outer layer you got to peel off, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure this is nice. Because there's been a time in the past where I didn't do this. As soon as I swiped that down and I peeled this layer off, it peeled off the screen protector as well. So what you're going to want to do is make sure the screen protector is sitting on the screen. Really nice. It's got, it's got a good seal on there, on the glass. And then, we'll peel it off. Damn it. You can even go like this to sit, to sit the uh, screen protector on the, on the edges. So no lint gets up underneath it. And then you're going to want to peel. The final step is peeling this one off. Now, as you can tell, there are no bubbles. Let me lift it up, but look. Now you see that line right there? That's from that's from this where the two plastic pieces touch each other up underneath up underneath here. But look, that goes away. Give it about a day and that'll go away. Again, this is self-healing. Now, as you can tell, that needs to be pushed down. That needs to be pushed down. Damn, there's probably a piece of lint right there. Yeah, there is. Damn it. That sucks. Thought I had a good install, but... That sucks. I'm going to order some more right now, but... uh, That's what you got to look out for. Make sure the... Edges are sealed here. As you can tell right here. That went away. You can tell it's not lined up perfectly. See how the screen protector is sitting off to the left a little bit? 
I need, I, sh I need to move the screen protector to the right just about a millimeter. It's a good install. Like, you can't, I mean, minus that right there, that sucks, obviously, but um, that's why you got to be super duper. That's why you got to do it in the bathroom with the shower. And so you get it right the first time. But um, I'll put this link in the description. I'm going to do the next one in the shower. I'll set it up in the shower and show you what I do. Well, not in the shower, but in the bathroom. But um, I'll put a link in the description. Definitely get this one. This is not Screen Protector's fault. This is my fault for doing it in a random bedroom. Uh, we'll do it in the bathroom next time, and I'll show you the right way. But I'm going to put a link in the description for you. Definitely go ahead and order these. I think they come in a three-pack, and it's probably like... I don't know, nine or ten bucks, but it's definitely worth it. You can't even tell it's on there. It looks like glass. So, all right, y'all. Okay, upon further inspection, the air bubbles up, up top went away, but look, those air bubbles at the bottom, I went to another room, looked under it in some different lighting, and there's no lint under there. Like I said in the very beginning, if you get a tiny air bubble just like that don't freak out these will go away as long as there's nothing in between the screen protector and the screen of the device that air, these that little air bubble will go away um it'll evaporate again this is self-healing see you can tell that line that was in there is almost gone already remember there was a line right here that line is almost gone, and these bubbles are, I only spent a few minutes off camera and got those out, almost got them out, but these will go away over time. I say in 24 to 36 hours a day, a day and a half, these will be gone, because there's no lint under there. As long as, again, as long as there's nothing underneath it, these will go away. And you can kind of massage them out, see how I did them, see how they're gone. So you just got to massage the air bubbles out. Now, here's another trick. Um, if you need, if you have an air bubble like that or anything else, as long as there's no lint underneath it or debris, um, you can get a hot air, uh, what do you call it? You know, like what you women use for, uh, uh, damn, what do you call it? Yeah, the, 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 the. The air gun or whatever it blows hot air on on their on their head on their hair. Uh, sorry, um, I never use those, but I don't even know what they're called. But yeah, the 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 hot air gun, you can you can do it on here. It's not going to destroy your device. Just make sure your phone's turned off, even if it's on. It's not going to hurt it. You can do it. I would don't hold it in the same place for more than ten seconds. You just move it around. Move it around all around the screen protector, the display, for maybe two minutes. Maybe even one minute, but two minutes. It'll get it real nice and hot, and it'll sit down. If you have any trouble with an air bubble, that'll definitely get it out. As long, if it's kind of in the middle somewhere, I would use the hot air gun. If it's on the edge, just massage it out, just like I did. So, as you can tell, no air bubbles. Maybe one right there, but like I said... It'll go away in 24 hours. But other than that... It's off-centered a little bit, but not bad. Cool. Alright, so I just wanted to come back and let y'all know that those came out. So, And then that line right there is almost gone. See that? It's crazy, right? That was fast. So this is self-healing. So it will heal itself from scratches and um, anything else that, you know, little air bubbles and stuff like that. So cool. Yeah, so definitely buy the screen protector. I promise you. can't. Once you start using it, uh, you're not even going to remember that you have a screen protector on there. This right here feels exactly like the back. I mean, it's literally it just you can't even tell it's on there. So it's definite buy for your Pixel and uh, any future device, but definitely for the Pixel. I'm going to link it in the description, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.